Welcome back, Super Creator. Today we're reviewing another tablet and I'm super excited for this one because it's a little bit different than all the tablets I've reviewed previously. It is the Canvas 16 Pro 2.5 K and that's where it's different. It's not 1080p, it's not 4K, it's kind of in the middle. So what does that mean for us? Is it sharper? Is it worth the price? Is it any good? Let's find out. So this video, because it's a review video, it could be a little bit long. So if there are some parts you don't wanna watch, you can skip them. Check out the timestamps below right here. But if you want to buy this tablet, I suggest watching it all the way through. Plus you can check out my time lapse that I showed you throughout the video and how it turned out, the artwork that I did with this tablet. A quick disclaimer before we get started, this is a tablet that was sent to me by Huion for review so I can share with you guys my own experience. But just like with all the other reviews, this is an honest review so I wasn't paid to say anything, they didn't ask me to say anything specific, basically I just open, I check it out and then I'll let you guys know what I think. And now without further ado, let's open up the box and see what's inside. As always, the box and the packaging on this tablet are spot on. I really like the design that they have on it. Inside the box, we have a couple of awesome items. Most of them you will find in every single tablet that you purchase. So we obviously have the tablet itself, the Canvas Pro 16 2.5K. We have a foldable stand ST200 and now that is something that not every tablet comes with. Some people like using stands, some people don't. You always have an option to purchase it separately but it is included with this tablet and I love it because that stand is actually pretty cool. It has two different uh, adjustment options, a power adapter, USB power cable, USB extension cable, USB-C to USB-C cable that's one meters long, which is a very good length, I think. Three in two cable, a battery free pen PW517, pen holder with five standard nibs, five felt nibs and a nib clip. We have a fancy glove, a quick start guide and a cleaning cloth. So now that we've seen what's inside, let's talk about a couple of things. Let's talk about the specs of this tablet. You can find all of this information that I'm sharing with you on their website. I will leave a link down below, so make sure to check it out. First of all, it's a 2.5K resolution, like I mentioned previously, and that makes the image more crisp. You can really notice that in comparison to the 1080p. And that's actually very fun to work with, as you can notice all those details, but it could be a double-edged sword because if you're anything like like me, you like the details, so you like to zoom in, but now they're even crisper, so your work has to be better and it's just but anyway, it's super fun to work with. So reading from the Huion website, the screen of Canvas Pro 16 2.5K adopts the quantum dot technology that effectively reduces the harmful blue light and enables a 145 sRGB color gamut. 16.7 million display color supports artists to render more vibrant and realistic artworks. Contrast ratio is 1200 to 1, which allows for a higher contrast between dark and light. I couldn't have said it better, but you get the basic idea, right? So it has full lamination technology that combines anti-glare glass and the screen, which eliminates the parallax. So basically your cursor should be following the nib very, very closely. Uh, plus the screen is especially treated to reduce reflection. So when we look at me removing the protection screen from the screen itself, you will notice a drastic difference in how the screen performs with a light that's shining right on top of it. It has a 170 degrees viewing angle, which means when you're looking at the picture, if you move around slightly, it's not going to distort the image that much. And that is also good for us. So let's talk about the pen for a second. The pen is 3.0 tech inside this PW517 pen. It's very, very lightweight. You can barely notice it. I really enjoy the design of their pens. And it has two different pen nib options that you can choose from. Regular pen nib that you've probably seen a million times and the felt nib that's made of fiber and it kind of gives you more resistance. It feels more like drawing on paper in a way. So the pen has 300 PPS report rate and 5080 LPI pen resolution. I have to say that I don't know what they did, but from previous version, it worked. It 
it worked and it works really, really good. And of course, as per usual, it has 8,192 pressure levels and 60 degree tilt. That kind of became the industry standard, nothing special, but it has to be there and it is. So check mark on that point. So the tablet itself is an all alloy case, right? So basically what the idea was is that it wouldn't heat up as you're working. So as I was working on this piece, I have noticed that my laptop was getting warmer, but the tablet stayed about the same temperature. I couldn't notice any difference really. So they did a very good job on that front and it does stay cool. It's not going to overheat or burn or any of these things. You can also use this as a pen display or a pen tablet. You just have to turn off the screen and then you can use it as a pen tablet. But I mean, like, why would you buy a 2.5K pen display to use it just like a pen tablet? You are better off with a different, maybe cheaper version if you really don't want that display. Because I feel like the strongest feature of this tablet is the display that is so crisp and the quality is so good. I mean, I just don't see why that would be the reason, but it is for you to decide it's an option. There are eight programmable keys on this tablet that you can select based on your own work style and your preferences and two on the pen itself. I programmed the bottom one for a space bar, which is the hand tool so I can move the canvas around very easily. And then the top one for the eyedropper tool, but that's for my style of work. Yours can be completely different. And the best part is, in the software, you can select anything you want. There's no limitations. So let's talk about connecting it together in order to start working. All you have to do is either connect it with a three in two cable and then a power source or a USB-C to USB-C cable and then a power source. You can actually use this tablet without the power source, okay? But it does take quite a lot of voltage. So it might drain your battery very quickly. It might cause overheating, not of the tablet, but of your laptop. If you're using something, you know, older, not as powerful. Mine's pretty powerful, but it gets warm very quickly. So, you know what? I like to be safe than sorry. So I plug it into the outlet. Yes, it gives you more cables in your office, in your studio, but it also potentially saves the life of your device. It's compatible with Windows, Mac, and some Android devices. You can check out the list of compatible Android devices. I'll leave a link in the description. On their website, you can find all of this information. Then you have to go to their website, find the corresponding driver, and install it. Honestly, Huion is so good at drivers. I, I don't know, like they are my favorite when it comes to that part because I've never had any issues with their drivers. It's just so, so easy to install. And once you do install, make sure to change all the keyboard settings, you know, set up your hotkeys, set up your buttons on your pen. Also, you can adjust the pressure settings and adjust it to the way that you like to work. There's a lot of possibilities. And once all that is finally done, which by the way, you only have to do it once. So just suffer through it with me. I know I hate these tedious tasks too, but then you can start working and hopefully it works just great. Another tip I will give you is adjust your color settings on your tablet to match it to your device before you start working. I will show you a little bit later how to do that, but I just want to give you that tip because I missed that step and I just started working and then I had to pay for it. So stay tuned for that. During the test that I've performed, I basically, what I look for is if the cursor is following the stylus, that's number one, right? Because there's nothing more annoying than you do a stroke and then you wait three seconds for it to follow along. Which by the way, if this happens to you with this tablet, it's probably your computer because it was so fast. I was just going bananas and it's still performed. It still followed the stylus. I was super impressed with that point. Then I like to see if the pressure is performing well. Is there any weird jiggles or missing spots when I draw? That didn't happen. Are the lines very jiggly if you try to draw them straight? But like at the same time, like I'm breathing. Even my ruler is not perfect. It has like little bumps, right? So all in all, I was very, very satisfied with this. And even when you do small circles, the easier you press, the easier it shows. The 
taper at the end was also beautiful. So all of these things during the testing phase show me, kind of give me an expectation on what can I expect when I'm actually drawing. Because when I draw, I don't wanna think about any of that stuff. I just wanna create my work. So by testing, I have proper expectations. And in this case, the expectations were really big because so far, so good. And then when we get to the actual drawing, I was lost. I was just lost in detail. I actually forgot to eat. That's how much excitement I had in me and how fun it was to draw and paint using this tablet. So the performance was great. I never found any lagging, any bugs. And if you li listen to any other of my reviews, I always say that there's something always that goes wrong. Something that went wrong here, I'll tell you about in a minute in my cons section, but like in general with the performance that I saw, it was very enjoyable. It was so easy to work with it and the lines and the colors, all of it was so crisp and sharp and it was just working just the way I wanted. And that is a very, very high praise for me because Yes, often I say about the tablets that I get lost in thoughts. I don't notice the tablets and I just work. That's true. But here I'm saying much more than that. Like I actually noticed that the performance was so great. And yes, I got lost in my thoughts and I just kept working, forgot to eat and you know, all that stuff. <laughs> but that's just what happens when you're in the zone. And I was in the zone. I was having a blast. So during the testing, during the drawing, I enjoyed it very very much and you know what often when I'm finished with a review I have a different tablet that I go back to which I'll tell you about at the end of this video but this time the next day I didn't right away change to that other tablet I actually kept it here on the desk and I actually worked some more on it I did some more drawings I was just you know studying doing some practices but the fact that I left it here and the fact that I kept working with it it's just it just shows how much I enjoy the tablet and the experience in general that is a high praise from someone who has so many tablets to go through and I've done a lot of reviews and I've given them to my family and friends and whatnot, whoever wanted one. But this time I am thinking I'll be keeping this tablet just because it's a good size, it's a good quality, it's just very enjoyable overall. Now, one of the things they mention on their website is that it's portable, you can take it with you. I kind of agree with it, but kind of not, to be honest. Because the thing is that, yes, you can just use the USB-C cable, plug it into your laptop and work with it, but it takes so much battery from your device. I just, as someone who used to commute for three hours a day to university, to my art school, it was one and a half hours there, one and a half hours back. I used to always want to take with me something to draw on. At first it was a sketchbook, then it was my iPad. I don't see myself taking this tablet. It's a good size and I know it won't break. It's made very durable. But just plugging into my laptop and then praying it's not going to die on me, that is not good enough for me. I feel like I need to plug it into the power outlet, even though it's not required. But it could just be my, you know, my fears and my thoughts about all this. But I am sharing my thoughts. That's why you're watching this video, right? So I don't think it's necessarily portable, like, to use it outside or in a subway or on a bus. But you can definitely take it with you, like, portable and take it to a place where you can charge your device, where you can charge the tablet while you're working. So working in a school area when I used to go to university, that I see myself doing. But working on a bus, not so much. So, so far I've only mentioned basically just the positive stuff, but what can I say? It has been a positive experience, except for one little itty bitty part. So the cons here though are not harsh and also they're figure outable, you know? So let's talk about this for a second. When I started working on it, I was so excited. I just wanted to get it, like, you know, get it started and I started painting. And I really like what my work turned out this time. It's just vibes, you know? Like I love those vibes. It's winter outside. So I wanted to paint somebody outside during winter. I don't know, just, you know, vibes. I'm, I'm vibing here. <laughs> So, and I was very happy with it and I couldn't wait to show it to my friends and I sent it to myself via airdrop on my phone 
And I go, whoa, the colors on this tablet are wonderful. They're so saturated and bright and brilliant and whatnot. But when you take it to the iPhone or my laptop, which I checked later, they are different. So I thought I was putting down these vibrant colors. And by the way, the time lapse that I'm showing you throughout, it records as I was seeing it, right? So it records the proper way. But then when I export it onto a laptop or iPhone, it looks very, very different. But the recording is the way I was seeing it. But here is what it looks like when I exported it. You can see a really, really big difference there, especially in the reds, right? The reds are really killing it <laughs> and then they're gone. So that is not good. I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I thought the colors would be good right away. They weren't. So it's kind of my bad because you can actually adjust the colors. So what you have to do is you have to long press on the on off button on your tablet and then a new menu will pop up, which by the way, hello, finally, okay? Usually when you have to adjust the menu, the colors, you have to do the color adjustment, you have to press buttons. And I don't know what's wrong with me, but I always get super confused. Like where is up, where is down, where is okay, where is back? And I always just keep pressing like weird stuff and exiting the menu and coming back. Like it's just not my thing. So I'm super glad they introduced this new menu where you can use your pen to adjust all of the settings. Finally, Thank you for someone like me, and I'm sure there's more of me, more of, pe more of people like me out there who are struggling with buttons. Guys, it's fixed. We're in 2022 now. We're, we're, we're doing good. Um, so all you have to do is adjust it. There's different options, right? There's different menus. Some of them are locked menus, which is like, if you choose this RGB, Adobe RGB, then you can't adjust them. And then if you choose that other one, then you can adjust all the other ones. Oh my God, I was playing for so long with it. It's still not perfect, but it's good enough. I know that once I export it, it would be a little bit different, but it will be good enough. And that is all that matters. I will also color adjust it on my laptop before exporting it and posting it on social media. But the amount of preciseness that you can have with this editing of the colors is very good. What I did is I found an RGB photo, red, green, and blue, and I opened the same file on both the laptop and the tablet so I can compare the two. But then your eyes get tired and your eyes think it's good enough, but then it's not and you don't know what to do. So I always open two or three or four images of my paintings or photographs that I made previously and then I can compare it on the photos and adjust and compare a different photo, adjust, go back to RGB. It's still not perfect. Again, it's good enough. So, but, but like in general, who is it for? I think it's basically it could be for anyone. It could be for a beginner artist who wants to start, you know, fancy and cool. And it could also be for somebody who is an advanced artist, who's a professional artist, because the quality is just that good, in my opinion. Like, am I... Am I over complimenting them? Am I just in a good mood? I don't know what happened, but I feel the same way that I felt two days ago when I first uh, opened it and started drawing. So I don't know. I don't feel like I'm over complimenting them. I just didn't have, I had normal expectations. Like all the tablets I've reviewed so far are normal or a bit below normal, but like they're basically all good. But this one's really good. So that's why I'm, I guess maybe that's why I'm pretty happy about it. But like, how does it compare to me, right? I reviewed a bunch of tablets here. Which one's my favorite? I never really mentioned that. So if you're watching till the end, here you go. If you had that question, what is important in the tablet, right? It's important that you don't notice it. It's important that it's built good. So it's not gonna break. It's important that the screen quality is good and the performance is good and it follows the pen. And when I look at these important things, a lot of the tablets fit into a number three place, right? Like a lot of them because all of them are good. But like, if we're looking at something a little bit extra, I only have two tablets, right? It's this one. Now it like goes on the top of my list. It, it's number two. It's gonna be number two on my list. Uh, here's why. Okay, so the number one tablet, my favorite one, is the XP Pen Pro 24. It's also 2.5K screen resolution. They're basically the same kind of good. But there's two differences for me personally, like that matter. Uh, the first difference is the driver. So the driver in Huion, I like their drivers more. I find them easy to install. I find them easy to, you know, use. 
I never had any issues, maybe that's why. And then there's the XP pen where their driver is a little bit tougher to install and I had a few issues with their drivers in the past. So that's why I would give this the first place in that sense, right? But the second thing, again, for me personally, is the size. And size matters, don't let anybody tell you otherwise. The bigger is not always the better. What's the better is what's good for you. And I like big sizes, I like big screens. So when I had the experience to use the XP Pen 24 Pro, I loved the size. It was my favorite, favorite thing. So that's why I give it first place. That's my go-to tablet currently. I keep it, I use it, love it. If this tablet was 24 inches, if it was larger and it was everything else was the same, it could probably be number one. I say probably because I don't know how it would perform at that size. Mom, mommy, my battery definitely died in the last few seconds of my video recording. Um, as per usual, I think can go right. But where was I? Right. So I can't test the two. That's why this is number two on my list. And that's still very high on my list because you can check out all the tablets that I reviewed right here. But other than that, I think it's worth a shot. If you're thinking about getting this tablet, it's worth a shot. I'm pretty sure there's like a return policy. Like if you, if something's wrong, if you don't like it, you can probably return it. But I personally love it. So yeah, if you like this size, which by the way, 16 is a very, it's a very good size. Like it's more than enough. I wouldn't go with anything less than 16. And I could totally see this as my day-to-day -day tablet. So I'm gonna be moving into a new house in like a couple of months. Uh, so I think I'm gonna hide my old tablet because I'm gonna start packing pretty soon. And I'm probably gonna use this one for the next couple of months before I move again. So I could totally see this as a day-to-day -day tablet. It's very good and I hope you enjoyed the review. If you have this tablet, please let me know your experience with it down in the comments below. I'd love to read it. Is it the same as mine? Is it different than mine? Am I just too excited and too easily satisfied? I don't know, man. I, I just liked it and it was super fun to draw. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the artwork and let me know what your favorite tablet is. Till next time, bye! Oh, and before I go, I started a new Instagram account. It's anasok underscore art. So please follow me if you want to see more of my art. Thanks.